YouTube, I'm back with another video, man. Y'all know it is Kadeem. This is SBK Trucking, man. And I'm back at y'all with another video. A video that I did not have to want to make, man. The last time I had to make this video on what they don't tell y'all about trucking, man, it just wasn't good. Things have gotten better for me in my trucking career, so I cannot say I feel the same way about when I made the first video on what they don't tell y'all about trucking. I feel what they don't tell y'all about trucking is you need experience to really get to where you're trying to go. The best part about that is that is something that you can obtain. It may seem hard right now because it seems like jobs is not uh, calling back or places, but you just have to find a place that, that meets the minimum standards that you need, you know, for your life and what you need pertaining to that job and take that job, man, and run with it and get the experience, man. That's what I can't tell y'all. You need experience. You most likely can't get a local job without experience. You may have to go over the road, get a little experience, or you may have to find a job that got CDL experience, such as a, a garbage truck job. Other jobs out there that still let you do your CDL and you don't have to drive a semi. So me, I went to do a garbage truck job for three months and I went over the road for three months. And then luckily I was able to get a local trucking job. So that should show y'all that there is some hope and you don't necessarily need a year or two, three years worth of experience to get your job of your dreams i got my job of my dreams within six months bro so if that ain't some motivation for y'all i don't know what to tell y'all you may need a year you may need two you may need three everybody's story is different everybody's journey is different that's what you got to understand don't compare your life to nobody else's don't compare your story to nobody else why would you want your story to be like somebody else's don't you want it to be unique don't you want it to be your own? So don't expect for your results to be like my results. You need experience, you really need experience. And that's really go for any job, you know? And I see why. At first I felt like, as long as I know how to drive that truck to point A to point B, you should pay me, you know, the top dollars. But I do get why they want you to have experience because these trucks are dangerous, man. And the blink of an eye, you could change you know, change your life or somebody else's life. You could hurt somebody, kill somebody. Uh, these trucks is dangerous. You could take out a light pole. You could take out a building. Anything, man. And these trucks, these 53 foot trailers, is not easy to drive. So I see why they really want you to have experience. Because the more you drive them, the more you get comfortable in them. The more you start to feel like you can do anything, man. Backing up is not easy. If, if, the more you do it, the more you get better. I feel like I am way better than when I first started. I ain't gonna lie. And when I first started, I had the jitters driving these trucks, but I got comfortable. And now it feels like I'm just driving my car. The experience does matter, man. Get your experience. That is obtainable. It's not impossible. So that is a great thing where you can go get your experience. And then you should be able to go get the job you want. So get the experience. That's what they don't tell you. When I was at trucking school, I remember one of the teachers told me, like, give it a year. Give it two years, man. You're going to be rolling. And I, I'm like, man, that's forever. But I've already had my CDL for a year. And I'm making the most money I've ever made. I'm at the best job I've ever had in my life. I've never had a job where I feel like it was the best job for me. And now I am living that. So that teacher was right, man. You gotta love driving trailers. You have to love driving. You have to love, you know, you gotta love all those type of things to really be able to enjoy the most of this trucking career of getting your CDL. It was just a lot of negative about trucking, but I can't say I've made it out of that experience with uh, my CDL. A couple months was rough for me, especially I went over the road. And over the road is a lot of frustration. It comes with a lot. So you got to make sure you're ready for what it comes with, man. It comes with a lot. But if you make it through, there is light on the other side. There is light at the end of the tunnel. And I finally see what they mean when they say that. So I can't tell y'all, man, it's hope. I'm giving y'all hope. This video is not shit on CDL drivers or the CDL field or nothing like that because I made it out of yeah, that. So man. I hope this give y'all some motivation, man. Hit the man. subscribe button, hit the like button. I'm coming out with more videos back to back. Um, you can see my whole trucking journey on the channel from when I started CDL school. I have documented everything, man. So you can go see everything that I'm talking about. I went over the road for three months. Garbage truck job that I did not do. I hated it, but I knew I needed experience, so I did it. I didn't know how long I was going to be there for, but luckily I was gone after three months. But I can't but, say, man, that's it for this video, man. I will see y'all in the next video. I just had to make this quick video. So I will see y'all in the next video. I got to get out of here and go home. All right, man, y'all stay up.